Hi guys, it's me, Aussie Mark. Can you hear me over the waterfall? <laughs> I'm here at um, Perinella Park. Um, let's have a look around. These falls at Paranella Park are called Mina Creek Falls. Paranella Park was actually established by a Spanish immigrant called Jose Paranella, who came here with very little money and was cane cutting in North Queensland where they used to cut cane by hand. And he quickly realised that that was a very hard job and he was a very smart man was Jose Paranella, so he um, started saving up his money and when he had enough, he actually bought his first cane farm, Update, updated that and sold it on and did that several times and made his fortune by um, upgrading cane farms and selling them on. And then eventually um, he had enough money and he came across this place, Mina Creek Falls, which was owned by another cane farmer and wasn't for sale, but he approached the guy and he bought it as Virgin Rainforest. Um, he cleared some land here and um, had a thought about maybe creating some kind of a leisure park in this beautiful spot. He introduced hydroelectricity to um, his place, which nobody else in the area had, by um, utilising the falls for the power to generate electricity. He then um, created an ice creamery, was the first thing which drew the people in. He made um, all sorts of things here to attract the visitors so they could go boating on the um, creek. There were tennis courts, all sorts of other attractions and walks around, a feed fi uh, fish feeding should I say. The buildings and pathways were all built by Jose and his wife and family. He used all local um, sand and local clay to make his um, buildings. So this is another falls that uh, is in the secret garden called Teresa Falls here at Paranella Park. Beautiful tropical flowers all around the place too of course. And wildlife including bush turkeys and the fish feeding can happen in a number of places. This beautiful Cowrie Avenue is uh, spectacular. This was the first building that um, Jose built. So it had a cafe and an ice creamery of course. Jose and his wife were buried on the property here. They also had this fantastic ballroom. That's the stage. And this is, used to be a magic ballroom and also a cinema. And that's the projection booth at the end. And this wonderful building here, believe it or not, was the virtually the clubhouse, if you like, for the tennis courts, which were where the grass is now. And the fountain was built by his son after Jose's death because um, he wanted to have an everlasting uh, memory to Jose and that fountain is just pressure fed from the waterfall. It is an amazing place and I recommend everybody go there at least once in their life. Thanks for watching and please subscribe if you haven't. Leave me a comment. Thanks. Bye.